Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, President William Samai Ruto, from day one, when he took over office, he said that he need a government that will be oversighted. And therefore he was calling opposition to take over their role, though we don't have opposition in Kenya. Oversight role is by the, of course, the, the National Assembly and the Senate. But again, we understand, like the previous question that we had, eh, of course, the minority side means they are not part of the people who are forming government. Though also having the minority and the majority in, the, in these houses means how you get number of elective seats in the election. So Ruto was ready for oversight from Raila Molodinga and the Azimio side. But the truth of the matter is that the same William Samai Ruto is not ready to be oversighted or to be criticized by the Azimio side. What he speak is not what he mean. I'm saying this because his deputy together Gashagwa has been outside in front of William Samuel Ruto condemning Raila Odinga for criticizing the government. In one hand you say you are ready for oversight and criticism. And in the other hand you jump and start even eh, threatening the people who are questioning your work. I had done a video about Rigathe Gashagwa, but I don't want to go into that again. But the issue I want to talk about is on the interview that I was listening to this morning on Citizen TV. <laughs> now, it seems like the Kenya Kwanza side are advancing this issue on every platform that they will get. Today, one of the members of parliament in Kenya Kwanza, right on Citizen TV, has again tried to play down the issue of uh, criticism. According to him, he's saying that the president has allowed people to criticize his government. But again, he goes ahead to say that president need time before people come out to criticize his work. Again, he goes ahead to say that Criticism should be constructive. I don't know when uh, the criticism from Azimio's side was not constructive. This is a member of parliament coming from Tigania West. Listen to him shortly. And after this, we will continue with this conversation. Actually, he's just trying to expose the ignorance in Kenya Kwanzaa. Listen to him. Was support to deal with this, uh, to deal out those problems. So if we have a team that, uh, the team that we have right now is a team that is being prepared for an economic revolution. And in economic revolution, you have to look at all dimensions. You have to see, to be sure of checks and balances. And the president is very bold to say that we would like to have very serious, you know, uh, scrutiny, especially from the opposition. He said you would not like to have a situation where you would have to beg or bring closer the opposition so that it is not criticized. The idea is calling for constructive criticism onto his team. So anyone who is in the cabinet should be ready and will... I mean, no, no, uh, it's interesting you say that. Is it over the weekend that I had the deputy president um, uh, speaking against the ODM leader, Raila Odinga, asking him to stop criticizing them? He felt in his duty to criticize the Uhuru government. No, no, no. I, I don't think that is the kind of criticism you're talking about. Because, you see, there are, there are individuals in this country who may not look at life realistically. His Excellency, the President, has inherited a government that does not have a serious past. He's inherited a government that has got to be, you know, reformed. There are so many reforms that are required. Uh, there are huge debts to be paid. There is a cost of living which is very high, which needs to be brought down. There is an unemployment. There's so many, for so many problems that he has inherited. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we should not just start criticizing even before we settle down to work. Give him time to build foundation. I mean, sorry to reopen this, but look, you are saying uh, the president has said he wants a strong op yeah opposition. That's what Senator said. Constructive opposition, not just hold on, Senator. Not I mean, just criticism. Honorable Mutunga. Yeah. Um, so he has said that. Yeah. When those in the opposition speak, 
then you say you fail to criticize. I, I, I want, I want to, I want to quote the deputy president's words. He, he said, "It is give us time to start this process. Don't be in a hurry to see results even before we consolidate ourselves into action." The opposition start its work. Um, the opposition should start its work. I believe immediately, but also be there. Now, the simple question that he is failing to answer here is when is opposition supposed to start oversighting the government? This man cannot answer this question. And when is the government supposed to start working? Before you start saying that, oh, they have not allowed the president to do his work before they start even oversighting what he's doing. When is the president supposed to start working? And for how long should the opposition wait to checkmate the work of the president? Should they even keep silent when he is not working? Or do they have to come out and speak their mind? Look at that. So, the truth of the matter is that Ruto is afraid of the Azmio side to oversight him. And seemingly, he is not ready. These are clear signs. <laughs> Again, when someone talks about constructive criticism, what is this constructive criticism? And which one is not constructive? If someone talks about GMO and he gives his views why he feels it is not the best way for the country to go, that is correct because he's giving reasons why. When you talk about Gashagwa saying that they, were, they found only 93 million in the treasury, and Raila comes here to question them about the 200 million they have spent on the, the trips, because now we are seeing a president who has become more of a tourist in this country. I think those questions are justified. Instead of Rigatha Gashagwa coming to shut down Raila Odinga, or what this member of parliament is trying to explain here, of which actually is just an exposure of ignorance, they should be telling the country how much Ruto has been spending and where he got that money. If the money was borrowed, let them say. And why should they borrow? Why should Ruto make those trips? Why should he become a tourist when there is no money? That is what they need to explain to Kenyans. And not the whole they are trying to talk here. Because for me, actually, this guy is more of exposing William Ruto and his government than even defending them. That's what I can read into this issue. If there is no money, why are you spending? You spend more than the 93 million they are talking about. So how do you account for this? Because to serve Kenyans justice, since Gashagwa said that he is an honest man and when he speaks truth, we have some people who are not comfortable with those with the truth. So let again let him again come out and say where they got money that has been facilitating William Ruto, his team. To go out, even the other day I saw Gathe Gashaga was going to, uh, was it Kigali or where? On Air Force One. Let him explain to Kenyans how it has been possible for them to get out when there is no money. When they answer this question, then they will be doing their side. They will be playing their part. Because if the opposition has challenged you, you should come and answer the question according to what they have challenged. Sio kuwapigia kelele ama kuwanyamazisha. Lakini tumeona serikali ambayo inakuja kunyamazisha opposition. That tells you that these people are not ready for anyone to oversight them. There's no another better way you can explain this. <laughs> When is there enough time to checkmate their work? They're telling them, because they're telling people here, oh, give us time to start our duty, then you will oversight us. But at the same time, when you talk about there was no money, 
You don't need someone to come and correct you. Even the governor of the CBK governor came out and they challenged the Gashagwa. It means they don't want anyone to correct them. Now they are using their members of parliament to get on TV and lie to the public. And you see, even this one eh, has been exposed because the questions they are asking him, you will see him taking a defense position, not answering the question. Actually, he is defending himself. So, put it in your mind very clear. Don't think that Ruto is comfortable on anyone questioning his government. That one should be clear to you. Whatever he speak in public is not what he means. <laughs> Actually, he don't need the Azimio to talk. He wanted them silent. And the worst thing is for Azimio to keep silent and allow Ruto to cheat Kenyans. Thank you. See you in the next video.